reality winner is shown in this courtroom sketch during her June 2017 hearing at the U.S. District Courthouse in Augusta, Georgia, reality winner, the former government contractor for the National Security Agency who leaked a classified document that proved Russian attempts to influence the 2016 presidential election, is expected to plead guilty to an Espionage Act charge Tuesday morning. Winner was set to change her plea in an Augusta, Georgia, federal courthouse to guilty on a charge of one federal count of willful retention and transmission of national defense information. The 26-year-old was a federal contractor for Pluribus International Corp. When she was arrested a year ago on charges of violating the Espionage Act by removing classified material from a government facility and mailing it to a news outlet, a criminal complaint said at the time, Winner sent an NSA memo detailing Russia's attempts to gain access to multiple U.S. state or local electoral boards to the intercept since her arrest winner has spent every day in jail her mother billy winner davis told huff post that she was looking forward to having some closure after a long year we've had our situations here that we've learned to adjust to winner davis said i was living in georgia for four months and my husband and i were separated during that Christmas was very different, but we've just had to make the best of everything to do what we have to do. Winner will be the first person to be convicted during the Trump administration for leaking government documents to the media. People automatically hear espionage and think she's a traitor to her country, and I don't want people thinking that she's a traitor to the U.S., Winner Davis said. I don't agree with how the government uses the Espionage Act. She should not be labeled a traitor. The Espionage Act, created more than 100 years ago, was used at the time to combat spies against the country. President Barack Obama was the first president to use the act to target whistleblowers. Winner could face up to 10 years in prison. Download Do You Have Information You Want to Share with HuffPost? Here's how.